All right, folks. Um, we took it apart and we put it all back together. I'm letting the glue dry right now. But uh, yeah, lifter was no good. Let me show you what I found inside the lifter. This lifter has come apart. No good. Looks like a washer or something inside of it broke. Goes in the spring. Well, I had the other piece on the spring here. Here it is. Let's see. It's this part here just snapped right off. All of it was contained in the lifter. So, yeah, this is uh, kind of some of the things you deal with when you try to do a budget build and reuse older parts. So, what do we do? We put another old lifter in it. <laughs> uh, the roller was good. I inspected it a little better. It wasn't as clean. But uh, yeah, I should have uh, checked the plungers and see if they were all collapsed or any were collapsed when I put it together, but I didn't. So one of them was bad. You know, it's a budget build. Building it for Isabel's uh, Humpty Dumpty. But uh, yeah, we'll come back here in a little bit and we'll fire it off and hopefully everything sounds good. I mean, it was actually, it was running good except for the lifter clapping, uh, clacking real bad and you could literally see on the oil pressure gauge when it got to that lifter, it was just pssst. I mean, it was my gauge was just tuk, 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 pulsing. Still had 60 pounds, but you could see it pulsing real hard, so. Um, and also, I didn't have my uh, little bypass Oops. hooked up, so it wasn't moving any water before the thermostat opened. This kind of bypasses the thermostat a little bit and flows through it. And um, I just had it blocked off and had that blocked off. So it was dead heading right there. There was no seepage by it. And um, the thermostat wouldn't open up before the engine started getting warm. You know, tight motor. Let's hope it's not too tight. I did bore this one myself, so. First time doing it, let's hope uh, everything went right. I mean, I measured everything to the tenth of a thousandth. So, um, we went uh, two ten thousandths, two thousandths and two ten thousandths past what the piston, well, what the piston called for exactly. They wanted two one thousandth. In other words, two thousandths and one ten thousandth clearance and I went to two and a couple of them were three so but uh, yeah I only had to uh, I didn't actually I had to file one or two rings and that was it and I mean just barely touch them where I could get my clearance I wanted and uh, so that's where we're at we'll come back when the glue dries which yeah Ah, don't ever do that. That glue's gonna take a while to dry because it's already been on there for an hour and it's not dry. So that kind of sucks. We might have to wait till tomorrow. I'll come back. I'm gonna put a water glue right there. I can test it. <laughs> okay, it's uh, let me see. We're supposed to be up in the hundreds today, so we are at almost exactly a hundred. Yeah, feels warm. Kind of been getting used to this heat early, sweating it out. Really, um, you know, you can feel it a lot when you get up in age, though. So. Um, a few years ago, it was real bad, but I've uh, kind of just been taking it. Staying out here a long time. Staying hydrated, which speaking of, I got to go get me something to drink. And we're gonna call it a day for lunch here. Come back and I'll check this glue, see if it started to dry. But uh, we might have to wait till tomorrow, which kind of sucks. I didn't blow off all my crap here. And I scraped it. But uh, yeah, I used different colored glue, which hopefully it dries. 
we'll see. I don't see any oil leaks yet, so that's another good thing. <laughs> Although we were only able to run it for about 10 minutes. I did, uh, I did crank it, put the valve cover on, crank it back up and run it a little bit with that lifter collapsed, hoping it would pump back up, but it didn't. So off with the intake and off with the valve cover and swapped it out with another used one. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, y'all. Stay tuned. We'll come back when we fire it off, see how it sounds. All right. Y'all take care.